close your eyes and try to picture your favorite food. Can you do it? People with aphantasia can't. They have limited to no mental imagery and can't picture images in their mind's eye. It's a rare trait that only affects about 2% of the population. People with aphantasia can live normal lives and it doesn't necessarily cause a problem for those who have it. It can interrupt certain activities. For example, it can make it difficult to draw objects from imagination or to use visualization strategies for learning. Aphantasia doesn't affect intelligence or cause any other neurological symptoms. Plus, people with aphantasia can rely on other brain functions to mentally represent information. Instead of a mind's eye, they can base memory on the mind's ear or mind's nose, for example. So, do people with aphantasia dream? Although people living with aphantasia cannot form mental images while awake, some can still have vivid visual dreams when asleep. That's because our brains process dreams differently than conscious visualization while awake. Dream activity involves more of a bottom-up process organized by the brainstem. But when awake, the cortex controls conscious visualization, which is more of a top-down process. To learn more about aphantasia, click the link below or visit our website at neuroq.com.